And then they unveiled this new part of it that I didn't expect, which sounded like a talk box. It sounded like a vocoder. And so I asked, where's the microphone? And they said, there is no microphone. <laughs> this is amazing. My name is Christian Matthew Cullen. I'm a composer, producer, and sound designer. I've uh, written for Fox, Ford, Disney, AMC, to name a few. Uh, we're here at my studio, Sounds Famous, and we're checking out the new CTS-1000V. It's such an honor when Casio reached out and said they had a new product they wanted me to check out. We jumped on a Zoom, and there it was, this new keyboard, and they started playing it. The sounds were killer, but what they showed me next, I wasn't quite expecting. It sounded like a talk box, it sounded like a vocoder, um, they allow you to type in lyrics and play them on the keyboard, which is unlike if I had the talk box and I had to have a tube hanging out of my mouth or a, a microphone for a vocoder. Um, plus, you have all these vocalists that you can choose from that are totally unique to the unit. So once I got the CTS-1000V at the studio, I started playing with it and checking out all the sounds I could get with it. And I knew right away when I heard the vocal synthesis engine that I wanted to try it on the track I was producing for an artist kind of like a chic meets Madonna, Daft Punk kind of thing. So let's check it out and see what we get. So now I got to figure out uh, what kind of lyric I want for the top line of the chorus. And I was thinking maybe can't stop the beat might be pretty cool. Can't stop the beat. Okay. So we'll save that. Now we're going to transfer it over to the keyboard. Can't stop the beat. You could do like um, can't stop the beat. Yeah, that could work. Can't stop the beat. Or, can't stop. or how about um? Can't stop the beat. Let's try it. Can't stop the beat. Can't stop the beat. So you can change the gender and the age of the voice. Can't stop the beat. That's a pretty cool effect in itself. Can't stop the beat. Okay, so I have this idea to do like a bottom thing. Can't stop the beat. That's sweet. Let's do that. Can't stop the beat. Okay, I have another little post hook idea that might be cool. Uh, lyric goes. That's oh I know. Okay, let's transfer that over. That's all I know. 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 That'll be cool. And maybe I'll double stack it and pan them wide. Cool, let's double it. For the double, I think I'm gonna change to, let's try choir group. That's all I know, that's all I know. Actually, let's do talk box. That's all I know. Yeah, that'll cut through a little better. Okay, I got something. Normally it would be like a background vocal or something I would normally use TalkBox for. And I'd like to approach the part that way. Maybe what I'll do is each sound that I use, I'll, I'll do a single note and track it. So I'll have three different tracks. Each one has a single note of the triad and kind of pan them out and just have this little vocal stack. Um, and I, I found this one phrase um, that it was told by accident. Give it to me, it was already actually in the keyboard. And when it hit the E, I thought it was really cool. And I thought, well, what if I hang on E and make that the syllable for what the vocal will be? Give it to me. Right there. And then have the top part go. Give it to me. Bottom part. Give it to me. 
Okay, I'm gonna start with the high part first. Okay, now I'm gonna add the second part to this. Okay, this is the last part that'll make the chord kind of hang on it after the bends. Let's see what we get. Yeah, I added a little vibrato at the end, so there's some difference between the tracks. This is the most amount of fun I've had making music and discovering it in a very long time. So you have to check it out for yourself.